There are five main types of activity within the inclusion spectrum, ranging from separate through to open, with pros and cons for each. Separate activity refers to entirely alternative activities designed expressly for disabled people to participate in. Next on the spectrum is disability sport activity. This could be regarded as reverse integration, where the emphasis is on including non-disabled people into games and activities specifically developed for disabled people. For example, if everyone is given the opportunity to play sitting volleyball. Next is parallel activity, where both disabled and non-disabled participants engage in the same activity, but are divided into different ability groups. Modified activity is where both disabled and non-disabled participants engage in the same activity. However, the parameters have been modified to assist in the inclusion of everyone. Finally on the spectrum comes open activity, where everyone can participate. All five points on the inclusion spectrum have positive elements to contribute to the physical education curriculum. And once an individual's own level of inclusion has been established, the spectrum can become an invaluable tool for teachers.